Leonardo, Michelangelo, Raphael, and Donatello, confront a dangerous gang called the Purple Dragons. They believe that the turtles are wearing outlandish costumes. They open fire on the turtles, but as they are trained in ninjutsu, they brutally beat the gang. The turtles disappear into the sewers when the police make an appearance. They return to their hideout, where their master Splinter begins to tell them a tale, of why he has been training them for the past 13 years. He starts by telling them that he was a pet rat of Master Homato Yoshi, who was the greatest shadow warrior of his clan. Splinter would mimic his master's martial arts while he trained. He then told of Yoshi's rival in the Foot Clan, named Oroku Nagi, and how they competed for the love of Tangshin. She loved Yoshi, and Nagi was jealous, so when Yoshi found Nagi beating her, Yoshi killed Nagi. Now dishonored, Yoshi and Shen, along with Splinter, moved to New York. Nagi's brother Oroku Saki wanted revenge and trained intensely with the Foot Clan, and when he was 18, he was sent to New York to lead that branch of the Foot Clan. Saki was ruthless, and became known as the Shredder. After many years, he attacked Yoshi and killed him along with Shen. During the fight, Splinter's cage got damaged, allowing him to escape and leading to him living on the street. One day, a man is pushed out of the way of a truck, and a canister with a strange ooze, flung off the truck, smashed a glass case with four turtles in, and made them drop into a manhole. Splinter tried to get them out of the ooze, and over time, they all grew and were able to talk. Splinter named them all after artists from a book he had found in the sewers, and then trained them in ninjutsu, and asked that they get revenge for him. Raphael then infiltrates Shredder's base of operations, and takes out three of his guards. He throws one of his sighs into the office, with a note challenging Shredder. He arrives as requested, confused about who they are, and why they seek revenge for Yoshi and Shen. Shredder's Foot Clan attacks the Turtles, but they defeat them easily. Then they each attack Shredder, but Shredder gets the upper hand against all of them. They then fight against him together, he still puts up a good fight, but they manage to defeat him. Leonardo offers Shredder his sword to regain his honor, but her refuses, and pulls out a thermite grenade, but Donatello throws his stick, and hits him in the face, knocking him off the roof. The grenade explodes, and the turtles assume that Shredder is dead, before retreating back down into the sewers. Thank you for watching, please like, comment, or subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell, so that you can be notified of all future content.